Well, you took my hand in yours and my heart skipped a beat. I couldn't say a word and I was shaky on my feet. I've been involved with the telethon for uh, quite a number of years, going back to as far as when uh, Wendell Ellis was involved with it, and um, I think it was then called the Soggy Reed Telethon. I'm not positive about that, but I'm pretty sure. And um, I don't think I've missed very many years where I go behind the scenes to help coordinate the talent. And uh, it's all, always a lot of fun for me because I get to see and talk to my peers and fellow musicians that I haven't probably seen in, you know, a year. <laughs> so it's a lot of fun. And um, I've been doing that for about five years now. Um, back in November on the 23rd, uh, 2017 I was involved in a head-on collision just near our home here in Cardigan and uh, results from that accident put me in the Queen Elizabeth Hospital for a month. Um, I had a number of injuries, a lot of broken bones and uh, yeah it was a pretty scary time. Having the QEH there for mom as opposed to us having to go to Moncton or Halifax or, or anywhere else was a huge blessing. Um, I, I still had to, you know, go to work and, um, and there were a lot of things to take care of um, that mom usually takes care of and if we were anywhere but here, it would have been a lot more difficult. Um, I, I probably took it for granted because you're not even thinking about, um, well it's, it sure is great that we're here, um, but now looking back, because uh, hind hindsight's 2020, I, I am so thankful that the QEH was, was here and we were able to stay. Family and friends are very important to the patients who are here. It's a very large part about rehabilitation is having those close supports. Um, nearby and who can visit frequently. Um, when it's off island, often it's hard for families to be able to go visit, but when it's on island, you have those, uh, the equipment here and your family and friends to support you on your journey home. Um, but that's the, I guess, the tangible things that you can touch. The um, stuff that you can't touch or see or hear um, is the love and the care that the um, nurses and doctors and and uh, LPNs gave like they're just like angels and scrubs really 